kritik terhadap bisnis kita. Cara-cara yang sekarang tradisional kita lakukan bukan kita tinggalkan. Sama juga BNI kita juga bisnis yang tradisional mungkin masih sekitar 80% atau 20% baru yang sifatnya kelas gini. Cuma peningkatan itu luar biasa ya. Itu multipliernya tingkatnya cepat. Kita juga lihat dari e-commerce ya. Siapa yang nyangka mungkin e-commerce tiga tahun selalu bisa sebesar itu di Indonesia. Ya. Itu luar biasa. Jadi itu yang kita sesama juga sebagai penjual segala macam harus siap menghadapi perubahan teknologi ini karena tiba-tiba ya perusahaan kita bisa hilang aja karena ada satu perusahaan memunculkan ide cara perjualan yang baru ya. Jadi kita bersama-sama Salesforce mengintroduce um, konsep-konsep digital business platform tersebut supaya perusahaan-perusahaan Indonesia melakukan transformasi baik untuk sales, services dan juga marketing ya. Kalau selama ini mungkin lebih banyak fokusnya gimana cara marketing ke sosial media kan pakai Twitter Facebook, Instagram, dan segala macamnya gitu kan Kita juga membawa terus-terus yang baru gimana Bapak bisa melihat uang Customer experience itu sangat penting ya. Jadi pelanggan yang sudah beli uh, produk-produk dari kita itu gimana kita maintainnya dengan baik ya. Sudah beli, apalagi kalau yang baru mau beli ya. Gimana kita bisa monitoring pipeline tersebut, opportunity itu dengan intensif kalau sekarang selama ini mungkin kita pakai tulisan Excel saja atau kita tulis di kertas dengan dengan satu sistem ini jadi open transparan gitu, ya. jadi pimpinan kita pun bisa melihat bukan hanya di level staff atau manager jadi itu transparansinya dan juga ada beberapa hal yang sifatnya personal yang kita bisa melakukan touching gitu, untuk pelanggan tersebut sehingga kita ingat kita ya, jadi contohnya kalau bengkel mobil ya, kita senang aja contohnya salah satu bengkel mobil ya, dia mengingatkan, dia sudah, sudah tahu aja pattern kita oh, kalau saya ini 1000 km itu baru habis dipakai mungkin sebulan atau tiga bulan atau empat bulan dia reminder ya. kalau kita sudah memperlar, sudah langsung bisa registrasi kita bilang, oh saya mau register langsung tahu tanggal berapa jam berapa setelah kita masuk bengkel keesokan harinya dalam langsung bilang bahwa garansinya itu 7 hari atau 14 hari kalau ada kerusakan silahkan tahu di samping kita dapat WhatsApp atau SMS atau email, dia juga melakukan personality call kita. Itu yang membuat kita customer experience itu merasa nyaman, merasa secure. Kalau nanti ya harga jual second uh, harga second mobil kita lebih tinggi kan? karena kita menservis di bengkel resminya dia. Itu contohnya beberapa hal yang sederhana seperti itu. Previously. So the discussion that we have, we deal with, like we discuss, we spend a lot of time doing a workshop. And what happened was we start talking about who, based on the existing information that they have about their customer, who would be most likely the one who actually make a purchase normally. Um, and what they were talk, telling us was that most of the time, anyone who had car for a certain amount period of time, then start thinking about buying a new car. So we use that as one of the audience, right? And then the other audience that we were using was based on those who actually um, come to the website and try to download things, like brochure because they're interested in a car, or they go to the website and try to build a car, like a 3D car. So as part of that, um, we require customer to give some type of either email or phone number. And then once they get an email or phone number, then they use that information to match information in the back end to see actually is this an um, existing customer or is this actually a hot prospect. And what happened then, we use this information, um, email and phone number, and then based on the segment, so now we have like hot prospects, we have existing customer. But the beauty about matching data with Facebook is that you could potentially ask for a look like. So let's say you have a million records of either email or phone number. Then we go and check Facebook feed, and we say, hey Facebook, Based on these one million records, how many of these people have Facebook profile? Facebook come back, according to Facebook, um, email, the match rate roughly about 70%. And when it comes to phone number, the match rate in Asia, it's about 40%. Now that I activate it, as a consumer, you're gonna actually see the message, right? Because you have that app. It pop up on your app, say, hey, your car is being delivered today. Don't forget to scan. 
So you're going to see how I'm going to stand this, right? I slide it, I basically get my car out, open my app, and then start scanning. And it will get unlocked. That's how cool it is. So as you can see here, give our code, click on it, let's scan this. I'm going to unlock this car. Now you can play it. Now we have different brands, right? So a lot of us like have different brands which we make in our company. Just like them. They just started off with a car. They can do the same thing with Barbie doll. They can do the same thing with something else. Suddenly everything is so connected. Suddenly you know how you can be interacting with the consumer. And this journey builder, it works also with service cloud. We were talking about how, um, let's say that um, you only mentioned earlier their service cloud, their sales cloud. Those are like call centers. So let's say the case happened, case data has changed. You can actually use the journey builder to drive the engagement as well, however you wanted to do it. So that's pretty much my, you know, what I beberapa manufacturing company mulai dari heavy industrial untuk driver diversified industrial online kalau untuk uh, consumer goods mulai dari manufacturer uh, itu Nestle, PNG, Coca-Cola, Unilever, Hershey, Yejio, L'Oreal, Mars uh, itu untuk manufacturer-nya kemudian untuk distributors-nya juga sampai ke supplier dan retailers jadi ini uh, end to end uh, solution mulai dari manufacturer sampai ke retailers untuk si consumer goods ini adalah consumer goods kita Nah, kemudian uh, kita punya solusi apa aja? Yang pertama adalah sales, ya Pak ya sales. Jadi untuk S, uh, apa sales force automation kita ada number one sales education untuk uh, apa namanya improve product productivity sama sales and intelligence dan untuk bantu bapak untuk grow the bisnis. Yang kedua adalah kita ada number one customer service platform. Ya, untuk bantu bapak untuk support uh, customers in every channel. Ya, kemudian untuk kalau bapak punya agent yang bisa inbound outbound itu kita juga punya solusi di situ untuk nanti kita number one. Kemudian untuk marketing application untuk one for one customer journey, predictive personalized content nanti akan di ini dengan bapak kan in details. Kemudian community platform. Jadi kalau misalnya bapak punya e-commerce website, bapak mau engage dengan customer customer uh, secara langsung, kita juga kita number one community platform. Kemudian untuk analitik, ya kan analitik uh, saya tahu pasti beberapa uh, sudah punya, tapi uh, apa namanya di analitik ini bapak bisa bantu untuk manajemen untuk mengambil decision making kita juga. Uh, ada karena tadi nanya satu soal punya apa aja sih tahu ya cuma CRM doang padahal enggak kita punya sampai uh, analitik juga kemudian untuk application uh, development juga jadi kalau mau ngebuild application kita juga ada pak dan it's easy karena kita semuanya ada di cloud jadi bapak nggak perlu yang tadi saya bilang hai, apa hardware software untuk bisa develop satu aplikasi say for example schedule something for say for example a new oil change etc so we're able to schedule in those future service interactions as well so that you can continue that relationship and we'll actually go a bit further into how we can address any type of proactive or reactive service cases in a later demonstration as well so now that we've actually gone through the overall process so our customers come in we've greeted them we've appraised their existing vehicle We've scheduled a demo test drive. We've put together the sales paperwork from Mark. We've assured that the vehicle that he wants to take a look at is in the dealership available to sell for him as well. Now, one of the things that we also want to take a look at is now that we've gone ahead and closed the sale, we want to take a look at well, where does all my sales behavior ultimately sit. Now, one of the things that we take a look at is our sales dashboard. Now, one of the things that we have in Salesforce is reports and dashboards. And what we can essentially do for you is display real time any of the activities or metrics that we happen to record. 
So what this means for an auto dealership is, let's say, for example, you want to know up at the top here, where are my leads coming in from? Who's expressing interest in purchasing a vehicle? Is this coming in back to Karn's presentation? Is this coming in over social media? Is this coming in via an email campaign that we've sent out? Is this coming in via customers who are proactively just texting us? And after people have come in, then me as a salesperson, Chris, I want to know where I ultimately rank based upon the sales that I've been conducting for that month. I want to know, say for example, the vehicles that are selling particularly well or not. And I want to be able to track the overall sales growth. Kemudian, kita juga bisa set di sini berdasarkan status atau priority-nya. Misalkan, case yang masuk priority-nya critical, maka akan langsung masuk ke tier 2. Kemudian, ada problem yang mengenai di sini mengenai uh, subtype yang mengenai technical issue akan masuk ke tim technical. Jadi kita bisa set seperti itu. Jadi itu automatic. Ada pertanyaan untuk di sini? Oke. Okay. Kemudian di sini akan saya akan show di sini ada block uh, block space yang kita punya. Jadi tangan ini kita bisa melakukan interaksi dengan customer. Sebenarnya saat kita mengaktifkan bagaimana kita menjawab customer melalui Facebook atau maupun Twitter itu nanti segera akan muncul di sini. Nah, yang saya contohkan di sini bagaimana untuk kita menjawab customer tadi dia sudah telepon, kemudian kita tidak bisa solve, kemudian kita akan kirimkan email. Nah, email yang kita punya itu kita sudah bisa siapkan juga tendernya. Jadi agent call center itu betul-betul sudah siap servis tender yang dia miliki. Mulai dari auto responnya seperti apa, atau ada permasalahan